Hey, welcome back, weirdos. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. I hope you guys are having an amazing day. I did not film the Manny on my left hand. Um, I didn't film it because it was for a vacation and it was something super duper simple. If you want to know how I do my cheetah print type look, I will leave a video down in the box for you guys to check out. But today is Memorial Day. And in honor of those that we have lost who are military, I am going to be doing my version of a Memorial Day Manny. And I figured what better color to use than one from Everly Nails for a few different reasons. Um, the champagne color is called Conundrum and it's just a um, iridescent shimmery champagne color. And then I'm gonna have this blue glitter over here. Wait till you guys see it. It's called USNA for US Naval Academy. And Rebecca, who is also prior military, she is a military veteran, um, she created a color for each of the service branches of the military, which I thought was absolutely amazing. I'll be sharing those photos with you here in a little bit. I'm gonna start this Manny by putting on, this is a new thing that I've been doing and I find that it's super duper helpful. I put a layer of base on, super thin, just real quick, one layer of base and I let that dry all by itself. I have found that doing this, and I got this idea from Chelsea from Sip and Dip, um, she does it for adhesion purposes and I find that it does work really well for that. Um, it does help the dip and the base stick to your nail a little bit better, but I really like it because I find that it slows down the dry time of your base. So if you're struggling with a very quick drying base coat and you're trying to do um, regular dip or like an ombre or a French type nail art, whatever design, this could be your new best friend. So give it a shot. I'm using the Sparkle & Co liquids. So I'm finding it works very, very well for that. Sparkle & Co on me does tend to be more of a quick dry. You know what I never thought about? I don't, does anyone ever talk about this? I don't watch a lot of nail videos myself and I'll explain why in a little bit. Um, but I haven't heard anyone really talk about this. Okay, so if you go to a nail salon and you have acrylic nails put on, the temperature of the room matters. The temperature of your hands matter because heat tends to accelerate the curing process, right? And coldness will slow it down. So if you, your body temperature, if you are running hot, that could accelerate the dry time of your liquids. And conversely, conversely, something <laughs> opposite that I have no words today <laughs> it's Friday just so you know and it's it's actually Friday like my kids had weird days at school today because it's almost summer break anyway I digress so if you're cold like if your body is your hands are cold if the room is cold that's going to slow down the dry time and the cure time of your products so take that into consideration when using any kind of dip liquid whether it's um resin dip liquid monomer with acrylic gel although gel does not dry unless it's in the lamp so i don't know if that really affects anything i would imagine that it could get like thicker or thinner depending on the temperature of the room or whatever i don't know i'm not an l tech have i mentioned that i am in no way shape or form qualified qualified what to talk at all evidently qualified to talk about nail products I'm not licensed in any way but i do have a lot of experience um, in the, uh, sense that I have been going into a salon to get my nails done for, oh God, let's see, I'm 39. I've been going to get my nails done since I was 15. So what is that? 24 years? <laughs> it's a long time. Um, but I, I stopped going to a salon, um, a while back and I've been doing my own nails for the last few years. So I like to just share some of the stuff that I learned along the way in hopes that, you guys might find it somewhat helpful. I did go ahead and do three coats total of the champagne color conundrum. And now I'm gonna get into the blue glitter. And I really, I'm super excited to tell you about how this happened. And it's it's not gonna sound right coming from me because when Rebecca was telling me, the owner of Everly, when she was telling me about how this was created, we were you know, messaging back and forth and she was sending me voice memos. So I got to hear her voice while she was telling the story and it gave me chills. I'm gonna give you the abridged version because no matter what I say, it's not gonna be the same. But she had a family member who was a seaman in the US Navy. And she would recall hearing the stories about what it was like to be on the water, particularly at nighttime and what the sky and the stars looked like. 
So she created this based on the images in her head from the stories she was told about what the night sky looked like. And I thought that was so incredibly moving. I'm like, that is absolutely perfect. And when I got this on the nail, I'm getting all choked up. <laughs> when I got this on the nail, my first initial thought was, this would look so gorgeous, sugared. And I almost did it, but I'm like, not what I'm going for. Not what I'm going for. So I really wanted to do a glossy top coat. And we're gonna do a, a little stamp later on. Um, I will have much more stamping coming up. I know I've been super lazy with nail art lately. I don't know. I've been in like a funk. I've been in a, hey, you guys ever get into that place where you're like, I don't really feel like doing anything creative. And not that I'm not feeling creative. Like I'm, I'm creative enough with dip powder and some of the stuff that I do. But as far as nail art goes, I've been in the mood to just keep it super simple lately, you know? And maybe it's because for me. And again, I have my own perspective from where I sit here, as you have your own perspectives from where y'all sit there. But from where I sit, I see so many crazy nails, insane, just chunky glitter everywhere and so many colors and just bling and stuff and things. And I'm like, no, <laughs> it's all hurting my eyes a little bit right now. I don't know why. So I felt the need to keep things as simple as possible as you may have noticed from the last few videos that I have done. And I'm kind of getting back into a creative side a little bit. I have, like I said, some a whole bunch of fun stuff coming up. Um, but this, look at that sparkle, how gorgeous. And I did three dips of this as well. And I'm gonna go ahead and cap in clear per my usual. And then we're gonna get into a little stamping. I'm gonna explain myself a little bit <laughs> in regards to the comment I made earlier about how I don't watch nail videos. I It's not that I don't want to support other creators and I do occasionally watch other creators, um, you know, nail art videos and channels and stuff like that. However, I mean, this is what I do, right? I, I do my nails, I upload videos, I edit videos, I voice over videos. Um, I run the Facebook group. It's nails all 24 seven, not 24 seven, but a lot of the time nails. So imagine if you will, imagine you're a chef, right? You work all day at a restaurant, cooking food for everybody. The last thing you want to do when you come home is cook, right? <laughs> so I don't, I don't watch a ton of nail art videos. I will, um, sometimes watch some stuff if I search specifically for things because I am looking for inspo or you know like on the weekends because I, I do not work on the weekends um I will play around on the Facebook group a little bit but I don't do um I don't do my nails I don't do editing I don't do emails or dms on the weekends it's just for my family time and for my own sanity really so I will watch videos sometimes on the weekend but generally speaking not so much <laughs> I just don't want to burn myself out, you know, because if I wind up doing that, I'm pretty much useless to everybody. Anyway, back to nails. Yeah, I'm going ahead. I'm capping in clear per my usual. I'm going to finish up the clear application, get activated. I'm going to file and buff off camera and I will leave a video down in the description box on my whole filing routine and I'll come back. We'll do
and they came out just beautiful this is such a gorgeous application so simple and i love the way her powders are thin enough to where they're not going to create bulk yet opaque enough that they don't look transparent I, I have nothing bad to say about everly's powders i love them with my whole entire heart we're going to get into stamping i saw this plate by what's up nails i ordered it i don't even know how long. i think it was last year i ordered it never used it and it's got this little anchor and i thought it would be perfect to go with the usna color so i'm just going to do this real quick real simple i'm using this gold stamping polish from maniology and i'm just going to literally do this one stamp on my um, ring nail and on my thumbnail and that is all we're gonna top coat and be done um this is a new stamper that i got it's from twinkle t i believe i got it on amazon if i can link it um if i can find it i'll link it i actually really really like this stamper i have zero issues with anything that i used one of the tricks that i have found for stamping if you are a gel user and you have gel polish and gel primer which you should if you have gel polish and stuff is primer acts as a great sticky surface to apply a stamp to if you are not a gel person and you do not have primer you can use um sticky base coat maniology carries that i will link that in the box for you as well i'm gonna let you guys watch me get my stamp on and i'll come back with some final thoughts
Here is the finished look and you saw that correctly. I put my activator and dip top right over that stamp. You do have to make sure your stamp is completely dry. I let them dry for a good 10-15 minutes and then I just dabbed on the activator, gave that time to dry, wiped it off with a lint-free wipe and it was perfect. Zero smudging, no nothing. Absolutely beautiful. I love this set with my whole entire heart. I'm going to finish up with my Candy Skincare Cuticle Oil per usual. <laughs> Are you guys getting bored of me saying that at the end of literally every single video? You can't be. You can't be because you know what's coming. You know what's going to happen. You know I'm going to lecture you about oiling your cuticles and making sure your skin is hydrated and rubbing it in, massaging it in, in the matrix of the nail, that area between your first knuckle and your cuticle area. That's where your nail growth happens. It does promote nail growth. I did a whole science experiment on it. It was a long time ago, <laughs> but I'll do it again if you guys really want to see it since my nails are natural right now. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you took something out of it, learned something maybe. If you're not subscribed yet, consider subscribing. I would love to have you as part of the Manny fam. You can give this video a thumbs up if you liked it so I know that you liked it. I hope you guys have a super safe Memorial Day. I hope you had a wonderful weekend and I will catch you guys in the next one. Love you. Bye.